but, but good evening. Thank you very much. Flame, Flame 12, I think the theme tonight is Great Escapes, for which I could come up with no good story. Uh, but I did think yesterday I was riding around the crypto on my bicycle and I thought of, uh, you know, where do I go? I escape. Sometimes I have to escape not from, but to the Kyoto that I came here and fell in love with. I don't know if you get that feeling, if you get wrapped up in your daily humdrum or whatever you're doing, and, or at least I do, and then I say, what am I doing here? And I, I have a couple of spots that I go to to remind me of why I love this city. Uh, and I'll tell you very briefly, this is not a story, this is a public service event. Uh, <laughs> okay, I didn't want to try to get your attention. Anyway, um, one is Imami Jinja. Right, Imami uh, Aburimochi. Um, you go to the western inside the western gate to uh, Imami Jinja, and uh, uh, on the right hand side, the left side too. But there's a place where they serve Aburimochi, and if you don't know what that is, it's little pieces of mochi on skewers, and it's charcoal uh, braised, charcoal braised, and they they put a, a sweet miso paste on that. And just sitting there in a little cup of tea and sitting there with the charcoal, the smoke curling up on a summer day is uh, just, that's the Japan that I think I really fell in love with years ago. Uh, do you, uh, did most people know the Imani Asa? Yeah. So anyway, that's a good place to go. And um, uh, yesterday in, I was downtown thinking of this and I remembered another one that I hadn't been to for years. And that is, this is a freebie. Um, up by the, uh, behind Nan Zenji, there's a, an aqueduct, a red brick aqueduct, very famous, the beautiful arches. If you go, <coughs> go through the arch and then turn left and go up the hill, about a uh, five minute walk next to a little open shrine is a waterfall. And uh, it's for people to use. It's for people to do okyo, which is uh, some religious sort of prayers and do their meditation. And fortunately, most people only do that in the dead of winter. So it's summertime, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty open. So you can, there's a little cave where you can change your clothes and go or take your clothes off. And if you have a, if you have modesty problem or an ugly body, bring a bathing suit. But I went there yesterday and it was really quite nice. The, the water was very forceful, cold. And during, after the rainy season, as the summer goes on, uh, it gets down to a trickle, but it's still always a nice place to go. We used to go there with the family when we didn't want to, couldn't pay for the swimming pool. So we used to go there on a summer day. And the last one is something that's really, I think, great for going to or bringing people who are temple down. I think in the summer, as the summer comes, you're going to have people visiting Kyoto. Um, uh, Kawaii Kanjiro. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's the Minge movement, if, if, of those who don't know the Minge craft movement, which was started by Seletsu Yanagi. Not really important, but in the early, in the 20s, Taisho era. Um, Kawaii Kanjiro was a real Renaissance man involved with that Minge movement in uh, Japan, which was in Kyoto, which was uh, to sort of once again um, appreciate the, the folk craft, the ordinary person, people's craft. And that, I think after the sort of industrial movement was mass production, fewer and fewer people were enjoying crafts. Anyway, Kawaii Kanjiro Kinenkan, it's down by Gojo and uh, Higashiroji. And it's perfect if you, go, if you bring someone to uh, Kiyomizu, and you come out of Kiyomizu, and that's the end of the temple trip, because there's nothing going to get be more beautiful than that. Walk down diagonally down to Gojo, Hidashiyoji, and bring them to, uh, or bring yourself to Kawaii Kanjiro's house, you'll bring them to And that's it for my escapes. But we do have stories. That wasn't a story. We have um, Mike Barr is here for the second time, and he's going to tell a story called Kashmir Caper. And uh, let's just uh, uh, welcome him up. Come on up. Yeah.